In today's video, I'm going to share with you the easiest method for installing Windows 11 on an unsupported computer hardware. My computer doesn't meet Microsoft's minimum requirement either. My processor, for example, isn't officially supported for Windows 11. And if you are unsure about your PC, visit this website and download the PC Health Check 2 to verify. And I've provided the link in the description section. And I'll be verifying my PC as well. So let's jump right into it. I'll just have to launch the PC Health Check 2, which I've already installed on my PC. So after launching the software, you get to see this interface. Let's check if this PC meets the system requirements. I'll just have to click on check now. And as it states here, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements because TPM 2.0 isn't enabled on this PC. And my processor, which I already said, isn't currently supported for Windows 11. And if you have observed my screen very well, you can see that uh, I'm using Windows 11. And then I can also show it to you by going to the system. And as you can see here, the Windows specifications are on the Windows 11 Pro Edition 22H2. So if you want to know how I was able to bypass all this error and install Windows 11 uh, safely without any error, watch this video to the end. Now, if you are using Windows 10, here is what you need to do first. Just open your browser and then search for download Windows 11. And then you click on the first link that appears, which will direct you to Microsoft's official website. So on the Microsoft page, you just have to scroll down to the download Windows 11 image section. And then you click on the select download. In a pop-up list, you just have to choose Windows 11 Multi Edition. Then you click on download now. As it validates your request for just a few seconds. So at the select product language section, you must make sure to select the same language that matches your Windows 10 installation. So if your already installed Windows 10 language is uh, English United States, you have to choose the same for Windows 11. But we're choosing English International for mine. And after that, you just click confirm and then your request to be validated for a few seconds. And as you can see here, we are now able to download the Windows 11 ISO. As it states here, download Windows 11 English International. So you just have to click on the 64 bit download. Once you've confirmed and downloaded the Windows 11 ISO, save it to your desktop. What you need to do next is right click and then extract the files using 7-zip or WinRAR. So I'll just extract my files using WinRAR. So I'll just choose extract files and then wait as the files get extracted. So once the files are done extracting, I'll just go ahead and then install the Windows 11 for you all to see. So I'll just open the folder and then run the setup.exe. I'll just click yes. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and then install the Windows 11. So I'll just click on the change house setup uh, and I'll just click the not right now for get updates and drivers. And I'll make sure I check the box for I want to help make the installation better. After that, I'll just click on next and wait as the setup checks my PC. Okay, so as you can see here, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. And here is why. The processor isn't supported for this version of Windows and the PC doesn't support TPM 2.0. So in order to bypass all these errors, watch to the end to see how I was able to install the Windows 11 successfully. In order to be able to install the Windows 11 without any errors, just head to your taskbar and then on the search icon, you just click on it and then type CMD. Then you run the CMD as an administrator. Just have to click yes. So in the Windows terminal or the CMD window, you just type cd dot dot and then you click enter. Then you just type it once more cd dot dot. You repeat the same. And as you can see, we are in the C drive. So what you have to do next is you go back and then you copy the location of the image file. So I'll just right click on the location and copy address. And then head back to the C drive in the command prompt window. And I'll type cd space and I'll right click to paste the location or the address of the Windows 11 image. After that, I'll click enter. And as you can see, 
we are no more in the c drive we are in the windows image drive after that you just uh type in cd sources so i'll type in cd space sources and i'll click or hit enter and as you can see we are in the sources folder which is the same as being here so what you need to do now is you copy this command which i have provided in the description section that is what we'll be using to install the windows 11 so we just copy the setup prep.exe and then you paste it in the cmd after that you just click enter it may display installing windows server but don't worry it's actually installing windows 11 so you just have to wait as it prepares the windows 11 for installation Okay, so as you can see here, installing Windows Server, but we are actually installing the Windows 11. So I'll just click on the change how the setup downloads, and then choose not right now for get updates and drivers. Then I'll make sure that I want to help make the installation better. Option is checked, and I'll click on next, and you can see checking your PC once more. So we just have to wait and see if now we can install the Windows 11 or not. As you can see now, we are getting a few things ready. We didn't get any error like uh, your processor doesn't support this Windows or whatever it is. So I just have to click accept and then choose what to keep. You can choose to keep personal files only or you can choose to keep nothing or you can go for the key file settings and then apps. For this option, if you find out that yours have not been highlighted or you are unable to choose that option, you must go back and make sure that the product language of the windows that you installed is the same as the windows 10 that you are using if they are different this option here you won't have access to it you only have access to the key personal files only and the nothing so you must make sure you download the right product language or the one same as your already installed windows 10 and then making sure you are ready to install but because i'm demonstrating i'll just terminate uh the file or the windows server because i am already on windows 11 so you'll be able to bypass all the requirements with this method no additional bypass tool is needed and if you encounter any issue or want to explore more methods write at the comment section let me know in the comments if you have any questions or run into issues thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video